What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about some of the concepts and some of the things that I implement into winter bass fishing that I don't do all year round. So it'd be a pretty cool way for y'all to you know kind of see what I do a little bit differently in the winter time than other times of the year. So there's a couple of concepts here that I use in the winter time that I just keep in my head all the time that I try to use and help, I feel like it helps me catch a couple more fish and a little bit bigger quality fish you know when I'm out there. So Wintertime, you want to keep your bait selection relatively simple. One of the all-time best wintertime baits is a flat-sided crankbait. There's no doubt about it. Whether it be a homemade balsa wood or the Spro Little John, those flat-sided baits just absolutely catch them all throughout the wintertime and pretty much all throughout the year too. But in the wintertime, they're just a different beast. And one of the reasons for that is the flat-sided baits are not quite as buoyant. So Whenever you get that bait down there in the desired you know, depth range, whether it be four foot, five foot, two foot, or eight foot, whatever, that flat side of bait is just not quite as buoyant. So you're gonna be able to really slow that bait down and grind it on the bottom. So in the winter time, whenever I'm fishing a crankbait, I'll throw it absolutely as far as I possibly can. And I reel it just slow enough to maintain bottom contact. So if I'm cranking over rocks or trees or wood or gravel or sand, or if I'm throwing to the ugliest clay bank on the lake, I'm gonna to try to make it keep bottom contact for as long as I possibly can and just grind that bait back to me slow as I can with keeping bottom contact. Because in the winter, it really seems to me like the fish like to come look at the bait and then they bite it. It's really a weird kind of a deal where in the, in the summertime, you don't see that. They'll come from eight foot away, just you know, straight bull headed and just knock the heck out of your bait. In the winter time, they don't seem to do that. It's almost like they like to ease up to the bait and then just engulf it. So whenever I'm cranking, I try to reel it as slow as I can and keep bottom contact. Another thing is brighter colors do a little bit better in the winter, in my opinion, because you know, basically our orbit around the sun is not a perfect circle. So in the winter time, we're further away from the sun. So what that means is the light penetration is gonna be a little bit worse on the water. So the fish just can see a lot better in clear water in the summer because there's so much more light penetration. It's just lit up down there. In the winter time, it's not quite as lit up. So the fish can, they'll react to more clear, to more bright baits in clear water in the winter than they will in the summer. So if I'm going to a bait like a jig, which is my absolute favorite winter time bait, I'll go to a darker color jig. Like in the summer, I might use like a really translucent green, green pumpkin, you know, jig. Whereas in the, in the winter time, I'll go to like my dirty crawl colored, you know, jig, which has a little bit of black in it, a little bit of orange in it. And what it does just gives it a lot darker hue in the water. And the orange just gives it a little bit something bright that does look like a crawfish, but it's something bright. So I feel like the fish can see it just a little bit better when it's down there in six or eight foot where it's pretty deep and the light penetration is already bad. So it's pretty, you know, dim down there. So I try to use something just a little bit brighter with a little bit darker colors down there a little bit deeper. Another thing that I do, just like the concept with throwing a crankbait, is I throw the jerk bait and I have a really, really long pause. For me anyways, a long pause is five, six, seven seconds. For a lot of people in the world, they'll let it pause for 20 seconds. That's great. I know you catch giants doing that. I cannot do that. I'll let one be paused for five seconds or so and that's it. And I don't impart a lot of action into the jerk bait all throughout the year. Like all times of the year. I don't you know, just go crazy like KVD on it. I kind of like want my bait to kind of roll left and right a little bit more. And I mean, if you don't put any action in it, it'll kind of bump along straight. I like mine to roll left and right a little, but not the crazy, super erratic jerk bait. I just always seem to catch them a little bit better just kind of rolling it around. And in the wintertime, you leave that pause to be, you know, pretty big. You get that bait, you throw it out, you reel it down as far as you can next to a very vertical drop. Very important in the wintertime is have a vertical drop. And I'll just kind of jerk that bait along and leave long pauses this time of year a lot longer than normal. So that's kind of the concepts that I implement in, in the winter time. I just don't think the fish can see quite as good in the winter. And another thing we have is we have a lot of rain. The water gets really, really muddy. So whenever you're cranking, whenever you're throwing, you know, like a, a spinner bait or something, I'll go up in size for the blades for a couple different reasons. Number one, the water's a little bit more dense this time of year because just cooler things are more dense. So the water's more dense, so vibrations transmit a lot better in the winter time. Just because the water's colder, it's more dense, vibrations can travel better. So a big vibrating lure is gonna project out further than it would in the summer. Another thing, we got that stained water, so a bigger bladed spinner bait will help you keep that bait in the strike zone a little bit longer, and you can reel it a little bit slower and keep it in the desired depth range while the fish comes up to it and then eats the bait. So that's one of the things that I do also is I upsize 
to keep it in place. Just like I said with that crankbait really as slow as I possibly can to keep it on the strike zone. That's why I do the spinnerbait or a chatterbait or anything. If I'm throwing a chatterbait, I'll give a, I'll put a trailer on that has a lot of lift so I can reel the bait extremely slow and keep it on the strike zone that I want to. So a trailer with a lot of lift will kind of suspend the bait a little bit more. So that's what I do in the winter time. And everything right now, we're getting geared up, everything buttoned up to head to Florida for the first Bassmaster Elite Series event. If y'all like this, you know, leave a like. Let me know this is the kind of direction you want me to go for the videos. And if you do some of these things, or if you catch a fish doing some of these things, leave me a comment down below. And leave me a comment also, if you have a winter tip now that you use yourself that you think gets you a couple more bites, leave me a comment. Let me know what it is, because I want to know them. I want to become a better fisherman also. We'll have a pretty good discussion down there in the comment section. So I appreciate it, guys. And we'll see y'all at St. John's River.